master aristocrat to not enter the Dane tree is written by Conor O'Dwyer. Two is last of the brownies who is written by Tommy Carmody. Three, Omerta, Aintree entered. Liam Cusack, he's the favourite today. Four is Olin Loud, who's also in at Aintree, written by Mickey Flynn. Five, the anti pose favourite, now deposed the second favourite, is Rock de Prance, written by Brendan Sheridan. Six is Fatal Hesitation, Mr. Richard Keogh. Seven is Ban Aline, written by James Collins. Eight is Lanigan's Wine, written by Ken Morgan. Nine, the Thinking Cap, he's in the National, so was Ban Aline, by the way, written by Tom Taft. Ten is Garbally Park, who's blinkered, written by Charlie Swan. Eleven, Moses Rod, written by Frank Woods. Twelve, No Grandad, Jerry O'Neill. Thirteen, Brave Run, James Jones, who won this race 12 months ago on Navalis. Fourteen, Blinkered, Clooney Grange, written by David O'Connor. And fifteen, Colebridge Baby, written by Podge Gill. News of betting. And the uh, joint favourites are Matter and uh, Rock de Prance are on four to one. Lannigan's Wine and No Grandad, five to one. Last of the Brownies, seven to one. Ten to one, bar four, bar five. And it's the two Lahan horses who go off in front of Olin Ladd and Master Aristocrat flying into the first. Master Aristocrat jumps it in front and all of the 15 runners have jumped the first and already they're sprung out over about 50 yards with last of the brownies being dropped out right at the back of the field and uh, up front it is Master Aristocrat who so often likes to make the running and he is making it today. Rock de, Rock de France is uh, also quite well up there as they come to jump the first on the far side of the course master aristocrat van Oli and jumps out in second but just uh, lost a little bit of ground rock de france up with the leaders and gorbally parks moving up into second place now then back to cobridge baby and fifth as they jump the next master aristocrat from gorbally park rock de france quite handy behind the leaders the back mark is still last of the Brownies, and the right at the back of the field with last of the Brownies is no grandad, but they've got a long, long way to go. That is the first ditch, and over the first ditch, it was Master Aristocrat who led from Rock de France in second, then Gorbally Park, then Fatal Hesitation. Behind those uh, on the inside, Lanigan's Wine with quite a good position. And the back marker is now number 12, no grandad, one of the best backed horses in the race. Master Aristocrat still disputing it with Rock de France up on the outside and Gore Valley Park in between those two. Then Brave Run on the outside of Van Olan as they come down to the next plane fence. And once again, the conditions are taking a very considerable turn for the worst. And over that one. Rock de France. Rock, Rock de France, who leads by a length from Master Aristocrat in second, then Gorbally Park, Brave Run on the outside of Cobridge Baby. And a mistake there from Cloney Grange. And uh, Thinking Cap has now dropped back to last place as Last of the Brownies runs past a few horses. Racing down to what will be the second last next time round. And Rock de France jumps it just in front of the top weight, Master Aristocrat, the Gorbally Parks behind these, with Cobridge Baby and Brave Run towards the stand side, towards the far side is Olin Ladd, behind Olin Ladd is a Mert who's made a little bit of ground, but as they come down to the fence before the stands is Rock de France, who's won his last three, Rock de France over from Master Aristocrat, slight mistake there by Gorbally Park, Olin Ladd moves into third place now. And uh, Lanigan's Wine, in fact, moves into third place. Lanigan's Wine in the very pale blue colours there. But as they pass the stands, it's Master Aristocrat Rock de France disputing it with Lanigan's Wine in third. Then Gorbally Park. Behind Gorbally Park is Brave Run and a murder. Behind a murder is Colebridge Baby. Then Van Orlean. Behind Van Orlean is Cloney Grange. Then a gap back to Olin's uh, Moses Rod. Behind Moses Rod is fatal hesitation and the two back markers are thinking cap and last of the brownies as the leaders come to the next rock de france and on the far side master aristocrat those are the two leaders over it thinking caps dropped right back to last place now as the leaders take the right hand sweep and start the run down the hill 
Master Aristocrat bowling along in front from Rock de France. Lanigan's wine is third. In fourth place is Clooney Grange, yet to win his first steeplechase, but well handicapped today. He's got the right sort of weight. Master Aristocrat leads over that by two or three from Rock de France, then Lanigan's wine, then Clooney Grange, then Moses Rod. Gobley Park's under pressure as is a murder behind those, making a bit of ground behind the leaders, his thinking cap. And the field going back to last of the Brownies, who's dropped out last now with his 11 stone 30. And Master Aristocrat, the top weight, being joined and passed in the lead again by Rock de France. Vanagan's wine is third. Fourth is Pony Grange. Then uh, Moses Rods moved into fifth. The Murder and Gorbally Parker behind those, and then Thinking Cap, and then Cobridge Baby as the leaders fly that open ditch. And they're all over it, one or two mistakes. Van O'Lean made a bad mistake at the back, and she's dropped back last now. But up front, it's still Rock de France and Master Aristocrat. Those two in the air together over that. Master Aristocrat made a bit of a mistake. Four or five links back, in fact, rather more now, are the next two who are Cloney Grange from the outside of Lanigan's Wine. Then uh, behind those is Moses Rod. Behind Moses Rod is Thinking Cap and a murder who's lost a lot of ground and Cobridge Baby. And on the far side of the course, now Rock de France has stormed into a, an eight, ten length lead. Rock de France aiming for a four-timer here. This fast, improving horse comes into the next plane length with a clear lead. He's a little bit slowed it. And Clooney Grange jumps up into second place beyond the long-time leader, past the long-time leader, Master Aristocrat. Master Aristocrat dropping right back now, and it's Lanigan's Wine, in fact, who's in third. And over that, Rock de France has come right back to his field again. Tony Grange is second, Lanigan's Wine is third. Moses Rod, the Jim Draper stable that's moved into fourth. Master Aristocrat's very, very tired now. And Bajosa is making ground, is thinking cap, thinking cap moves into fifth place, and he's not out of it at all as the leaders jump the last ditch. And Cloney Grange with nine stone 11 jumps into the lead. Cloney Grange, written by David O'Connor for his father, yet to win his first steeplechase, but he's going strongest of all now as he goes into a two or three length lead from Rock de Prouse. Moses Rod moves into third. Fourth place is Vanagan's Wine. And making ground still behind those is Thinking Cap, and those five are clear as they race down to what will be the fourth last fence. Cloney Grange, the horse who was second to Carl Bellahau in a novice chase not so long ago, and he looked so attractively weighted at nine stone 11. He's got a lead of five or six lengths from Moses Rod, who moves into second place. And they're closing on him now. Lanigan's Wine moving up to dispute second place. In fact, jumps into second. And Moses Rod has fallen at that. Moses Rod is down at that one. And there's another faller just a little bit behind that. I think it's Thinking Cap who badly interfered with. But uh, the faller, principal faller there was Moses Rod as the leaders come now to the third last. And over that, it was Cloney Rain. Cloney, Cloney Grange, rather, who leads by four or five lengths from Lanigan's Wine. Thinking cap, still making ground behind these two. And these three are clear now. Racing round towards the straight with two left to jump, and it's Cloney Grange. Cloney Grange pressed by Lanigan's wine and Thinking Cap, who's moved into third, and these three are well clear from Colebridge Baby and Rock de France, and these five are the only one within sight of the stands now as the leader comes down to the last fence and it's Cloney Grange who looks as though he's only got to jump this to win his first steeplechase. Lanigan's wine is getting closer though as they come to the last in the Ladbrook trial and Cloney Grange is over. A cheer goes up. He was 25 to 1 this morning but someone's backed him that's for sure. Cloney Grange with the blinkers strides away with his featherweight. Lanigan's wine is in second place. Thinking cap runs on in third. But at the line, Cloney Grange springs a surprise in the Ladbrook trial. Second is Lanigan's Wine. Third, a very tired third, is Thinking Cap. Colebridge Baby runs on to be fourth. Behind that is Rock de France. And those are the only finishers at the end of a marathon, a grueling marathon, for the Ladbrook's trial. So, the result of the Ladbrook trial, a win for number 14, Cloney Grange. Second, number eight, Lanigan's Wine. Third, number nine, Thinking Cap. The starting price is as follows. First, number 14, Cloney Granger's first, 25 to one. Second, number eight, Lanigan's Wine, six to one. And third, number nine, Thinking Cap, 14 to one.